My name's Tim Taylor with Taylor Farms Trucking. We're from Marion, Indiana. And I have a 1995 Freightliner FLD 120. That was a glider. We just put an N14 Select Plus in it that was built in house, rebuilt in the house. And we put out of frame. We built it out of frame. And then we put a 13 speed transmission in it, repainted the frame, and the body was repainted. So we all did that in a year and a half. Yeah. Have it, you worked this truck at all yet? Oh, well, not since we put this new motor in. It still basically got brand new miles. It's halfway broke in. We took it up to Dyno and it put like 425 of the ground. So, yeah, this Monday I got to go work it. So. And what do you haul? Haul reefers and hopper bottoms. All right. Yeah, we're farmers, so hopper bottoms. But we we use those quite a bit. How so. excited are you for its first real work trip? Uh, pretty excited. <laughs> I can't wait to hit the Jakes. That's my biggest thing. I like Jake brakes. You all can't see the huge smile he has on his face right now. <laughs> yeah. And you're a pretty young looking dude yeah i'm 22 and i mean flds to a lot of people watching this are not old trucks but no. they are old trucks really yeah. so why did you did you want an fld how did you end up with this specific truck okay well when i was 18 i used to drive in day cab international and my dad said well take this truck up and go drop this trailer off and it was that truck it used to be baby blue now it's black and orange but I took it, and the guy that was driving it told me, hit the jakes, see what it sounds like. After that, I just fell in love with it. <laughs> and I like flat tops, and I like the old school look of trucks. So. Did you pick the, the paint scheme and the colors and all that? Oh, yeah. I did all that myself. I picked it. Awesome. Yeah. And leading up to Matt's, you said it was a year and a half project? Is yeah, right? but I drove it in between two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was an ongoing project, right? So in the lead up to Matt's, there's always like that last minute thing that happens. What was the last thing you did to the truck, even if it was in the lot out here, for the show? Uh, the dynoing and getting all the polish done. That's about it. Because the dynoing got set back a couple of days because they had too many come in. So that was the big thing. But I really didn't have much problems. So next year, if I come back, I'll probably have a bunch of problems. Still <laughs> 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 knock on at the truck show. <laughs> yeah. And what is your favorite aspect of your truck? Um. It could be anything. Mine's like the classic look of it. it. Looks old school. Then everybody turns heads when they go by it. 